Good morning, this is Kelland on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. Authorities have arrested a suspect after sheriff's deputies discovered a body inside a home in southwest Minnesota. The deputies responded to a domestic assault call in Edgerton Saturday morning. That's where investigators say they found a deceased female inside the home. Deputies took a male into custody. Multiple agencies, including Minnesota's Bureau of Criminal Apprehension, are investigating. The Pipestone County Sheriff's Office says there is no danger to the public. This is a developing story and will bring you any new information as it becomes available on Kelloland News and Kelloland.com. Both sides of Amendment G held rallies in Sioux Falls Saturday. Both groups wanted to make sure their voices were heard before Election Day tomorrow. A, a very extreme abortion ban in our state and the majority of South Dakotans don't want that. It's on the ballot to be removed as Amendment G and we're here to, to express support for that. Yes on G. The radical abortion ban just goes too far and is poorly written in my opinion. Um, probably just doesn't belong in our Constitution as at all as well. Uh, lawmakers should have the authority to make the changes that they need to and actually represent the citizens of South Dakota. Amendment G is one of seven ballot measures to vote on in the upcoming election. For information on each of them, visit the election headquarters page on Kelloland.com. President Biden has approved a disaster declaration for the Cheyenne River Sioux Tribe. It means federal funds will be available for people affected by a severe storm and flooding in June, uh, July. The financial help can include grants for temporary housing and home repairs. We have information on how residents and businesses can apply for assistance on this story on Kelloland.com. Now let's get a check on our weather with meteorologist Scott Munz. Scott? All right, good morning, everybody. Uh, we have uh, light rain showers, areas of fog this morning, eastern, southeastern Kettleland. The rain showers mainly showing up across northwestern Iowa, and they are weakening. Temperatures today will reach the low to middle 50s. We have a better chance for sunshine today in western, central, and northern South Dakota as compared to the east and southeast. Brian will have more details on his forecast coming up. Thank you, Scott. There's a nonprofit aimed at empowering young girls through hockey and mental health education. The Fight Like a Ninja Hockey Tournament welcomed 18 girls hockey teams to play in its ninth annual event. But the tournament isn't just about competitive hockey. We were able to bring in several speakers um, for the girls um, and talk about topics like money, STEM, and mental health and coping skills. And it just really brought so much more than the hockey for the weekend. Angela Drake started the nonprofit the same year she lost her daughter. Brittany, who died by suicide. Brittany was a gifted hockey player, and her mom says she was the heart and soul of her team. St. Francis House in Sioux Falls kicked off their annual 30 Days of Giving for the month of November. Anyone is invited to donate 30 items in 30 days as a way to stock the pantry ahead of the holiday season. One of the most popular items on the list, condiments. Our guests put hot sauce on everything. They put it on their eggs, they put it on the hot dishes. If I had gallons of hot sauce and the other one is ranch, we would be flying through it. Those two condiments are very, very popular. Other items needed are canned foods and breakfast meals. And if you don't feel like shopping, you can donate $50 to the St. Francis House and they'll do the shopping for you. A sensory play park is making the move to Sioux Falls. The Sensory Studio offers different activities for children to develop their senses, including an indoor sand pit, a rock wall, play areas, and more. It's also a great place for parents to take their kids with the colder months approaching. We're trying to really create that environment inside so that parents can keep their sanity a little bit in the winter and um, kids can still get together with one another and play, play with their um, their families and just keep continuing to meet their milestones and learn and develop. The Sensory Studio is teaming up with Functional Kids Pediatric Therapy. While it will still offer everything it does now, it will also be able to have joint events utilizing the strengths of both the businesses. That's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Karstens. Brian? All right, taking a look at the weather today, we've got clouds in place in the east and the southeast. Meanwhile, lots of sunshine for central and western South Dakota. Overall temperatures should even out, though, this afternoon. We're starting cooler and rapid, but we'll end up close to 50. Sioux Falls, though, with the clouds, 
It's November. We just can't really get a lot of power to warm those numbers, and I think we'll probably just hold steady here much of the day today. And, of course, the wind's making it feel a little cooler. Tonight, remember, there's a, another piece of energy moving out of the southwest. Could we see some rain later tonight? Northwest Iowa, northeast Nebraska, I think so. I think that'll clip into southern Minnesota as well, so make sure you tune in for updates on that. Uh, it's not impossible to catch a little of that in Sioux Falls, but mainly to the south and east is how we'll phrase that. Tomorrow, we're looking at a blend of sun and clouds. Temperatures by midday, mid-40s to around 50. Overall, I would say pretty average weather for this time of the year. The most active weather tomorrow will be going into the Great Lakes. You can see the rain with that system there and a trailing line of storms through Missouri and Arkansas. Uh, we do see another low beginning to cut off and spin to our southwest. Eventually, that will become another weather maker for us by the weekend. But we have several days to watch that. We'll see how much of that rain uh, eventually moves to our direction. And by the way, it looks like quite a bit of beneficial moisture to the south. The drought monitor is changing. And that's some good news. We could sure use that moisture to the south. And uh, that's absolutely happening given this pattern. Okay, well, let's wrap things up here today. 55 Sioux Falls, 55 in Mitchell. More sunshine here uh, farther west. And for tonight, we'll see starry skies in the Phillip area. You're down to 23 for a low. Sioux Falls, though, clouds in 30s, uh, mid-30s likely. The rain in northwest Iowa. Tomorrow, blend of sun and clouds, upper 40s and low 50s. And I think 50-degree weather. That's where we're going to continue to camp out on that uh, direction here the next several days. And by the end of the week here, that chance of rain Friday night into Saturday and high staying in the mid 50s. Numbers here for Aberdeen in the Northeast. We're looking at low to mid 50s the rest of the work week. That 30% chance of showers by Saturday and Sunday. And it looks like for Pier in Central South Dakota, low to mid 50s are also expected. So everybody's about on the same page here. Normal high is about 50 in Pier and also Rapid City. There could be a couple of comeback shower chances tomorrow that'll be spotty and then temperatures in the low 50s by Thursday. Check out more details online at kettleland.com.